posh bit last year at 220. Nick pegged this girl with his number, thinking he was so slick. And then after all the coach back, this girl called him up out of the blue. And <laughs> it was Kieran at the front of the bus. I feel bad now, but it was funny. Sorry. <laughs> uh, at Audacious, we, you were put in teams, and in those teams, if you're losing, you have to do the forfeits. And our team lost twice, so we always had to do the forfeits. And we had to dress up in tutus and pom poms. And on the last day, we had to roll around on the floor as a snake. So it was like the last night, and we'd done really rubbish for some reason. And uh, we had to we had to do the forfeit. And like I thought, oh, it's fine, forfeit. Then I found out that we had to wear our clothes inside out. Now, for a girl wearing your clothes inside out in a public place is possibly the the worst thing you can tell us to do because the tags were out, like everything was going mad. And uh, there was a huge kickoff. I did cry for several, I actually weeped. Um, and my dad was like shouting, I was like, Johnny, get back out there. You're gonna get changed, you're gonna go out, you're gonna get over it. Who's gonna care? And I was like, Aah! My audacious funny memory is when I went up to the front in a bright tutu and spoke to Glyn Barrett and he gave me a lot of free stuff and then I walked away with all the stuff in my, my hand and my dignity just still intact. Last year at Audacious, on the first night, the theme of the week was Bring the Praise. And the speaker did a talk on how when it's really great, you've got to praise then, but you've got to praise even more when it's worse. And then after that, when it gets worse, you've got to praise again. At Audacious, there was a speaker called Rich Wilkerson Jr. And he did a talk called Broken Mended, Second Winded. And it was about how God uses the broken uh, and fixes them then, uses them. And it touched me because it showed that like God doesn't use the perfect people. He uses the broken people so he can kind of like fix them and then cut, you can get developed during the brokenness. So you, from being bro broken, it can be an advantage, not a disadvantage. Um, it was when a speaker called Russ Levins did a talk called um, Here Comes the Rain and it was on the last night. And it was about how in times of drought, how in times of um, struggle, how the rain comes and it was like a God moment and bear in mind that day it was really hot and um, in the middle of the talk Russell went, opened the doors and it was pouring down like literally like chucking it down and everyone went outside and I think that impacted me as you think you could just feel God and that was my first time I really felt God um, in a place and it just really opened my eyes and really helped me like the building block on my relationship with God. My audacious God story is one, one of the days at uh, 220, Dan spoke about I will worship these two feet stand. And um, he, it, it hit home with me because it, it just showed that you don't have to just worship at uh, a conference at Audacious or you don't have to just worship at 220, but it's wherever your two feet stand. So. And uh, it was the last night and Reggie Dabbs was talking about one chance, one choice, one moment. And it was just like the best talk I've probably ever heard. And it, it was just about like choosing your moment and just like this is your time to just step out. And you, you, I had a jigsaw at the front of the stage and he was like, if, you, if you're in this, just put your peace with the rest. And, and I did and I felt like I'd really sort of sold myself into something and that I'd never experienced God in this way before. And like, I really just came home from audacious feeling like, wow, I can really, even though I was only 11 and really young, I, I can give my bit and this can be my time going into high school to show the new people I meet and my friends from primary that, you know, God is real and stuff like that.